Hello and welcome. You're watching UTV Live at 6. Good evening. These are the headlines. The head of hospitality Ulster, Colin Neal, reveals that he's been the victim of online abuse due to his views on reopening. A mother whose son died from an eating disorder makes a plea as we reveal the huge demand for help during the pandemic. Sadly, people take heart failure. My son did because people don't realise the impact it has on their body. And it's a major impact which can kill. Police continue their investigation after the murder of 63-year-old Stephen Barraskill in Portadown yesterday. And a woman who saw six members of her family killed during the Troubles calls the government's amnesty plans disgusting and wrong. Also tonight, we're on board with the steam train, hoping to be restored back to life. And something a little colder on the horizon, but I'll have the full details of the forecast for you coming up shortly. People talk on TV, congratulations, and you know, I just get that sense of pride in the town as well, which is great to see. Barraclough will name his squad next Thursday for the final two qualifiers. With the World Cup out of reach, he may choose to add more youth to his side with next year's Euro campaign in mind. Ruth Gorman, UTV Live. Ah, just before the weather, a look ahead to a programme airing tonight on UTV. Keepers of the Loch takes you around a trip around beautiful Strangford Loch to learn about the characters who live and work there. It's narrated by Paddy Keelty and you can enjoy the first of our six-part series this evening at half past seven. <laughs> Strangford Lock is an exceptional place. Renowned internationally for its sheer beauty, it's the United Kingdom's largest marine nature reserve. It is stunningly beautiful, but more importantly, it's a working lock and its shores are surrounded by the people who keep it, love it and depend on it. These are the keepers of the lock. That series begins tonight on UTV. Now, the forecast is not looking good for the weekend, I'm afraid. Ashleen has the details. It's cold out there. But there's a heatwave on the way. UTV Weather, sponsored by Phoenix Natural Gas. Hello there and a very good evening to everybody at home. Well, we've got a weather front sliding up from the south and that's going to bring a little pulse of rain into southeastern parts that's associated with this low pressure system that's pushing into Scotland. Then we've got a break in the weather and then another weather front waiting to push through as we head through Friday evening. So let's just take a look at the detail of that. Through tonight, we have got one or two showers around out to the east, but then we've got a few good hours of dry weather, a little bit of mist and fog forming as the winds tend to drop out. But by the early hours of the morning just signs of that weather front pushing into the southeast a little chillier than recent nights lows of around seven degrees celsius and certainly one or two pockets of fog out to the west where the skies are clearest for longest so first thing tomorrow morning some outbreaks of rain in the east that will take a few hours to clear but then it's pretty much a dry day for everybody some good spells of sunshine around but it is going to be a little bit cooler than recently temperatures reaching around 12 degrees celsius closer to what we'd expect for the time of year now across the rest of Ireland, it's another fine day there as well. Any of that rain will clear away through the morning in the east and then it's mainly sunshine, one or two showers around, but perhaps some heavier showers across parts of Munster. Now, from Friday into Saturday, we have got another weather front waiting to push in from the west. So overnight on Friday, this will bring quite a few showers around, but it should clear away in time for Saturday, which means for most of Saturday, it'll be largely dry with some good spells of sunshine around and then we've got some heavy showers on Sunday. Home means more snuggling up and keeping warm. UTV Weather, sponsored by Phoenix Natural Gas. Well, that's it this Thursday, the 28th of October. ITV News continues now with Mary Nightingale. Judith Hill will have the Lake Bulletin at half ten from Rose, from me and the rest of the team. Good evening. Good evening.